Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm out in the woods today to build a friction fire, a bow drill fire. It's more of a challenge for myself because it rained during that tropical depression about a week and a half ago. It rained another time pretty heavy since then and it rained heavy yesterday. And plus it's about 95 degrees and very humid. So I've got three pieces of yope on here. I might be able to use this smaller piece as a spindle. Maybe one of these is a fireboard. Um, I'm gonna try to find some more material. Now I found this old burned up pine. This is a pine knot. There's gonna be fat wood in there. So I'm gonna cut this open and split it and try to use this as a block. Oh yeah, solid fatwood, solid fatwood. So now I have some tinder. And also have a friction block. So I need to get this split. Okay, there's the hole for my spindle. Now I cut this to uh, pound my knife with, but now that I'm looking at it, I bet that center would make, it might make a good hearth board. I'm actually going to try this yoke on. This stuff is hard to carve up because it's so, well, it's pretty hard. All right, so now I'll put a point at the top here and smooth out this bottom. And I'll show you close-ups. I'm gonna have to cut it already. There's a hollow spot right there. That's not good. So now I go ahead and put a starter hole here. I'm 
I want to kind of get rid of some of this bark. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and put a point on this end. So grab this piece of Yopon for a bow. Now I like that in there. I can just put the string directly on that. And on this end what I did is I went ahead and curved it with the saw right there. And I flipped it over and curved it again. Now I can split that wood off and have a notch to hold the string effectively. So I think my best bet for tinder right now is going to be these pine needles that are hanging up in the sunlight, in the wind. So I'll get a handful of these. So I've got my spindle. This is Yopon. And I've got this fire block here. And I've got some fat wood for the other block. So let's see if I can get a burn here and that'll tell me if we're doing good. Yeah, I've got a burn. So, it's pretty good. I've got a burn. It's hot. So, this just might work. What I'm going to do now is put a notch in this board. There, I've got my notch. And, well, let's, let's give it a shot. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is use this to catch any embers. And I've got some pine straw here for tinder, but I'm gonna rely on fat wood more than anything, so I need to split this up, get some shavings out of it. Okay, so I've got my bow, got my fireboard, it's notched. I've got my spindle, got a piece of fat wood here for the top, and got my tinder bundle here. It's a few pine needles with some fat wood shavings in there. Well, let's get busy. And I'm seeing some smoke, so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I am getting some powder down there. All right, let's get some embers now. I'll pick up the pace.
not putting a lot of pressure down. Not smoke, but not enough of it in my opinion. And I'm not straining. I'm not wearing myself out, so I'll just keep going. And I'll stop right there. That's a lot of powder. But there may not be an ember. Look at all that powder. See, there's no ember in that. Since that was so little effort, I'm not winded, I'm not tired. So let's see if we can do that again. I may have to get a different fireboard. That one might be too moist. Oh, mosquitoes. So it was already pretty hot. I'm getting some smoke. I'm getting powder. Yeah, see this Yopon is doing very well. The Yopon is smoking. I smell something burning. Look at that. We have an ember. So that's awesome. Let that burn for a minute. So, see the second time we did get an ember. Maybe it dried out from the friction just enough. Who knows, but it worked. So now I've got to carefully get my... It's not a very big tinder bundle. It's just some pine needles that I hope are dry and a little bit of fat wood. So we'll see if that works. That stuff burst into flames, it burst into flames. All right, so I do have some fat wood on there so it'll burn for a minute or two. Get some of these little sticks on there. So at first I didn't succeed, but I went for another burn and I got it. Now, I'm not done yet because I want to use this same spindle the same pressure block and I'm gonna try one of those pieces of Yopon for the fire block I'm curious to see whether or not that'll work you know if what I selected was in fact dry enough usually when I fail at a bow drill it's because the material was not dry enough so I'm gonna do that real quick actually put my loop right there and just tie it around this It's 
going to tie an overhand knot and then a slip knot. And that should work. Alright, so let's see if we can get a burn in this tiny piece of yopon here. And I'm not putting any effort into it. It's trying to slip out, so the hole's probably not right. But if I angle this, it'll sit in there a little bit better. There we go. Now, I already know the spindle's good. The question is... Oh, see, I'm seeing smoke. Alright, so I've got to burn... And got some dust there. I'm going to put a notch in this thing. See if we can get an ember. And here we go. Yopon spindle, Yopon fire block, fat wood friction block. And this is effortless. My knee is not at a 90. I'm actually pretty relaxed. No strain so far. Let me go ahead and get in the right position. Here we go. I've got smoke. Boy, and this is a stealth bow drill. It's quiet. I hope it works. I'll increase the speed a little bit now. That's where I can hear something popping. Oh yeah, we got an ember. Just dropped it. Oh, of course, this fat wood bearing block is awesome. Look at that. I mean, it didn't even it didn't even get this brown. That fat wood resin just lubricates, glazes over. Plus, I can get tinder out of this. So I can't say I'm surprised that it worked. I do have some confidence in my abilities but you know sometimes I try to do a bow drill fire and I fail and in those cases almost all the time it's because the material was too wet and it didn't seem like it was wet you know in the field I'm struggling with it and it just doesn't work and what I do is I keep those pieces just as I cut them in the field and I take them home I let them either dry for a few weeks or put them in the oven for a while just to dry them out and without changing anything. You know, get the bow again and the spindle and the fireboard and try it again and it usually works. So the problem was the material was too moist. And another challenge was the tinder. Tinder, tinder, tinder. What do you use for tinder around here? There's almost nothing that's dry enough. I was able to use pine needles that were hanging on trees, the sunlight had hit them, the breeze is blowing through them, so they were dry enough. But I didn't depend on those for ignition. I actually depended on fatwood shavings. I put the ember in the fatwood and blew on it. And I tell you, when it burst into flames, it burst into flames. It, was, it wasn't a little flame and then it caught on. It was just boof. I thought my hand was gonna catch on fire. But so that worked out. Because often you can use fat wood for tinder if you have a spark or... Well, I hope you learned something today or you were at least entertained. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go high.
I'll tell you what I'm not happy about. When I was gathering tinder, those pine needles, as I was standing in a fire ant bed, covering my shoes, starting to cover my legs. I freaked out, started swatting them off, picking them off. Of course, they had bit my hands. They were crawling up my arms. They crawled inside the pants, up my leg, were biting my legs. So I got bit all over the place, burning like fire. You know, if I didn't have an image to keep up, I would have been crying like a baby.